But that's not what we're talking about right now. But I'm just saying I'm mad as hell. What else is new? Joe Biden's gonna be your nominee. Stop talking about how old he is. And Kamala Harris is gonna be your vice president. So stop fretting, stop wringing your hands, and get behind your ticket. No! Because on the other side, your alternative is Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. Ooh, that one! Fox News every single day goes after Kamala Harris, trying to portray her as inept and some kind of bumbling fool. She's not! I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there can be no higher priority than what we have been clear is our highest priority, which is bringing down the costs and the prices as much as we possibly can, and we will stay focused on that. Together, we are expanding access to transportation. Seems like maybe it's a small issue, it's a big issue. You need to get to go, and need to be able to get where you need to go to do the work and get home. Was trying to portray her as inept and some kind of bumbling fool. She's not! <laughs> and I think there's some concern about just the lack of a policy accomplishments that she's made as vice I'm, president. I'm surprised that there's concern. I think it has a lot to do with this. She's a black woman. For, she's obviously for amazing, but what specifically? But, well. Like, no, I mean, where should I, where, where shall I start? I mean, she was in the Senate, of but course. But no, I mean, as Vice General, President, of course, Vice she's President, highly... She's, she, the Inflation Reduction Act. Not a woman here could vote no matter what age, but the 19th Amendment struck down that restrictive rule. Why'd they go and do that?